reviewing the best android browser for privacy pro byte browser first of all before configuring this browser make sure that you change your search engine from google to duckduckgo delete bing delete yahoo only use duckduckgo.com or use startpage.com if you want to directly fetch your search results from google go to privacy and security and use always secure connections these are some of the settings which you should change right now in your default browser they might not even be available but choose bromide for that if you want custom settings for privacy choose choose your dns wisely i prefer using next dns as of now i would use cloudflare because next dns is not the option here i will be making a detailed video on next dns and how to de google your phone do not use do not track option because it uses google's inquiries to do not track your data rather use these features which i am going to show for the next in the video you can choose this option which says enable history in incognito tabs please keep it off and turn this option on open links in incognito always relaunch the browser if you want to take effect immediately now go to accessibility and do not force enable zoom over here do not change any other setting go back and now this is the most important type phase site settings disable third party cookies it is disabled by default thanks a lot to the developers because allowing first party cookies will not only give you a lot of access blocking a lot of site access but always hindering the experience of user going back and blocking other things for example you can block javascript and allow javascript to certain sites only for example i am a youtuber so i use studio.youtube.com with javascript because there is no such option to use youtube without javascript so keep it off and only allow certain websites override the time zone and keep it to random it would highly help you de anonymizing yourself keep the background sync to off as as it's already off by default and turn all of these options off augmented reality your device use active fingerprinting i will be making a detailed guide very soon so if you know are new here please do not forget to subscribe turn off the virtual reality access as well go to usb and turn it off as well we do not need all these bullshit features hindering our privacy we only need privacy invasive features thanks a ton for watching